Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to be able to find missing angles in isosceles and equilateral triangles. So let's take a look at these unique triangles. Um, this right here is what we call an isosceles triangle. Now it comes from the Greek isosceles, meaning two legs. And so you can see that in this triangle, two of the legs are equal. Okay, and that's very important. Um, so any triangle where two of the legs are equal is called isosceles. Now something that we also can see is that the base angles where those two legs end, kind of like their feet, you could say, the base angles are also equal, okay, in measure. And so this is going to help us solve missing angles, right? Solve for missing angles. Now, there are all sorts of different isosceles triangles, shapes and sizes, and they're twisted around and turned. And, and so I just want you to be able to visualize those two legs and where their base angles are, okay? And you can see they're right there. These two, if you have to turn your head to see those two legs in our base angles. Now, it also um, can be said that if you know that two of the base angles are equal, then, then the two sides that they uh, are attached to are also going to be equal. Okay, so it works both ways. Now, this particular triangle is what we call an equilateral triangle. And we call it that because all of the sides are equal. Now, it's technically in the isosceles family, um, but we rarely refer to it as an isosceles because it does have two legs that are equal, but it has, you could use any pair of the two legs to, uh, to be equal. Um, but in, in the equilateral triangle, all of the sides are equal in length and all of the angles are equal in measure. Okay. All right, well, let's look at some, some problems, all right? So suppose we have this isosceles triangle, and the question says, which two angles have the same measure? So looking at these, which ones, S, M, and R? Well, we know that the two legs that are attached to the base angles are going to be equal, all right? So M and R are the ones that are the same measure. S is different as far as we know. We don't have any proof that it's the same. All right, what about this one? This is an isosceles triangle. And uh, which of the unknown angles is equal to 54? And so we're looking at either Y or X. Well, our two legs, where they go down to the angles, to the base, which is kind of an upside down, they're right here. And so Y is the one that is equal to 54 degrees, not X. All right, so now we have to find the measure of the two missing angles, okay? Now, we know that the, the isosceles triangle here, we've got the two legs and the two base angles, 49 and X. Now we know those are equal, right? So we can say that X equals 49. Now what about Y? Okay, now what did we learn about triangles before? Well, we learned that all of the angles add up to 180 degrees. And so since we know two of them are 49, and then we're missing the Y, watch what we can do. 49 plus 49 plus y equals 180 degrees. And so we can solve for that missing uh, angle. And so we just do a little algebra and subtract 98 and we get y equals 82, which is the measure of y. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this one. Now we have our isosceles triangle, and we're asked to find the measure of x. Well, this angle right here, 38, that is not one of the base angles. 
Um, and so we know that the, the x is one of the base angles, and the other angle that doesn't have a letter is also a base angle, and they're the same. So why don't we just put an x there because they're equal. Now, because we add up all the like terms, I'm sorry, we add up all of the angles to make 180 degrees, we add up 38 plus x plus x, and then use a little bit of algebra to solve, and so we add like terms, subtract 38, uh, 2x equals 142, and we end up dividing by 2, getting x equals 71 degrees. And so both of those angles at the bottom are worth 71 degrees. All right, well, let's take a look at a more advanced problem. So what you can see we have here is we have a isosceles triangle and we have a missing value of x and we have to find that and we don't have any base angles. What we do have is um, the uh, 112 at the bottom, okay, but it's on the outside of the triangle. So how are we going to find x when we don't have any of the angles inside? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this 112 degrees, okay? Now, because it is on a straight line and that, that one leg cuts through, um, what we can do is we can use the comp complementary angles um, and we can add 112 plus the missing base angle and that will equal 180 degrees. So what would A equal? Well, we just subtract 112 from both sides and A equals 68. Okay, and you can see 112 and plus 68 equals 180. And so that's an easy way to find uh, a missing angle sometimes. So now we know that the uh, bases are both 68, right? And so we're going to add 68 and 68 and x, and now we can find that missing value. So you can see that um, there were uh, quite a few steps in this, but it's not impossible. You just have to kind of use some reasoning and see if you can solve some problems. And so we end up with x equals 44 degrees uh, for the top there. All right, well, I hope you learned a little bit of something. And uh, if you want to watch it again, you might want to. But uh, good luck in isosceles and equilateral triangles. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.